Short Story 144, The Case of the Missing Necklace. The antique shop on Elm Street was known for its hidden treasures. Mrs. Patel, the owner, took pride in her collection of vintage jewellery, each piece with a unique story. One sunny afternoon, a young woman named Alice entered the shop, her eyes scanning the sparkling display cases. She was drawn to a beautiful silver necklace with a sapphire pendant. May I see that one, please? Alice asked Mrs. Patel politely. Mrs. Patel, always happy to help her customer, unlocked the case and carefully handed Alice the necklace. Alice admired its delicate design, running her fingers over the cool silver and the smooth sapphire. It's lovely, she murmured, but a little out of my price range. Mrs. Patel smiled warmly. Perhaps we can negotiate, she offered. They chatted for a few minutes discussing the necklace's history and Alice's budget. Just as they were about to reach an agreement, a commotion startled them. A man burst into the shop, his face flushed. Excuse me, he panted. Have you seen a young boy with a red cap? He ran past me a moment ago. Alice, startled, accidentally knocked the necklace display. In the chaos, the sapphire necklace clattered to the floor and rolled out of sight, hidden behind a heavy velvet curtain. Seizing the opportunity, Alice knelt down, pretending to help find the necklace. Oh dear, I hope it's not broken, she exclaimed. However, her eyes darted around, searching for a way to pocket the jewel. Mrs. Patel, distracted by the frantic man searching for his son, didn't notice Alice's suspicious behaviour. The man eventually left, apologising for the interruption. That was strange, Mrs. Patel remarked, turning back to Alice. Now where did that necklace... Alice quickly feigned disappointment. Oh, it seems it's really not meant to be, but perhaps I should come back another day. Before Mrs. Patel could protest, Alice rushed out of the shop. Later that evening, Mrs. Patel was cleaning the store when she discovered the empty space behind the velvet curtain. Her heart sank. The sapphire necklace was missing. The next day, Mrs. Patel reported the theft to the police. Detective Jones, known for his sharp mind, arrived at the shop. He listened carefully as Mrs. Patel described the events of the previous day, including the encounter with Alice. Did you get a name from the young woman? Detective Jones inquired. Unfortunately, no, Mrs. Patel replied, but I do remember she wore a bright yellow scarf. Detective Jones, with this small detail, decided to investigate the local pawn shops. He showed a sketch of a young woman with a yellow scarf to the shopkeepers. After visiting a few shops, he struck gold. The owner of a small pawn shop on Maple Street recognised the sketch. Yes, that girl came in yesterday trying to sell a sapphire necklace, he confirmed, but it looked too expensive for my shop, so I turned her down. Excited, Detective Jones retrieved security footage from the pawn shop. The video clearly showed Alice entering the shop, attempting to sell the stolen necklace. With this evidence, the police apprehended Alice. Faced with the video footage and Mrs. Patel's testimony, Alice confessed her crime. The case went to court. Alice pleaded guilty to theft, and the judge sentenced her to community service and probation. She also had to return the stolen necklace to Mrs. Patel and pay compensation for any damage. The news of the solved case quick spread quickly through the town. People praised Detective Jones for his quick thinking and Mrs. Patel for her courage in reporting the crime. As for Alice, the experience served as a harsh lesson. Stealing wasn't worth the trouble. Honesty was the only way to go. Vocabulary notes. Antique, adjective, very old and valuable. Treasure, noun, something valuable or beautiful. Pendant, noun a decorative object that hangs from a necklace. Murmured, verb, spoke softly. Negotiate, verb, to discuss an agreement. Commotion, noun, a noisy disturbance. Flushed, adjective, red in the face, especially because of exercise or excitement. Seize, verb, 
to take something quickly, especially by force. Distracted, adjective, unable to concentrate because of something else. Feigned, verb, pretended. Encounter, noun, a meeting with someone, especially by chance. Inquire, verb, to ask a question politely. Sketch, noun, a simple drawing of a person or thing. Pawn shop, noun, a shop that lends money on valuables and then sells them if the loan isn't repaid. Retrieve, verb, to get something back. Apprehended, verb, arrested. Confessed, verb, admitted to doing something wrong. Testimony, noun, a formal statement made under oath in court. Pleaded guilty, verb, phrase, admitted guilt in court. Compensation, noun, money or something else given to someone because they have been harmed or suffered a loss. Story written by Google Bard AI, image created by Desgo.com AI. Please check out my new blog at www.steveuk.blog. Thank you. Hello, this is Steve. If you enjoyed the story, please would you take the time to leave a meaningful comment and click on the like icon. If you want to know when the next story has been uploaded, please click on the notify bell icon to be notified. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tell your English learning friends so they can benefit too. Thank you.